you guys doing tonight um what we're gonna do first well actually okay let me start here we have three beta codes that we are going to raffle off tonight so if you haven't gotten into mw3 beta if you don't have access to it you will have three chances to get it tonight uh randomly i will be putting them up um, in the stream, so just watch and you'll get your chance. Oh, Bobby had a deleted message. What? Why did it delete? Oh, it's because you said badass. Okay. Hey, what's going on, cat? You are a raffle. What, Mini Technicus? Okay. So, anyway, what we're going to do first, we're going to go through some PC settings because I am going to end up putting a PC setting video up for season six, the settings that I'm using currently. Uh, so if you want to use them yourself, I know a couple people have asked me what settings I'm using because they like how the water looks and everything like that. Now this is going to be for PC, uh, Xbox, PlayStation, you're a little limited on your settings that you can do. So this will strictly be PC settings. I actually had to take notes because there's a lot of Windows settings that I did. So hopefully I have all of them. Okay, so if you are trying to do some settings, let me see here, one sec. All right, we're gonna look at my PC here. Wait, and there it is. Okay, so for Windows settings, the first thing you should do before you do anything else is go down here to search, and I am on Windows 10. Windows 11 is going to be a little different, so just keep that in mind. You're going to want to go to Windows Update. This is the very first thing that you want to do before you do anything else with your settings or even going into game or anything. So you're going to want to go to this update right here, and you're going to want to check for updates. Very first thing you want to do, and I shouldn't have any because I think I've already done this, but you're going to want to hit that, check for update. See, there's an update right there. So you want to do that first and foremost, update your PC, make sure everything is up to date and good. Next thing, 
you want to update your graphics. And I have an NVIDIA card, so I'm going to use GeForce Experience. You'll go in here, you'll go to Drivers, and then you want to make sure that these are up to date. If they're not, update them, and then you will be good to go with that. Uh, I think AMD is Adrenaline, same process. You'll go into the Adrenaline and then update from there. After you have all of your drivers updated, you'll come down here and then you'll type in background apps. And then here it is, background apps, click that. You want to shut these off. All of these will run in the background if this is on. You don't want that. It's going to be using up PC. Um, what is the word I'm thinking of? PC. Ah, I'm thinking of it. Thinking of it, thinking of it. Oh, the word's like right there. Anyway, it's going to be using, uh, using your PC. You don't want it. Shut it off. I can't think of the word that I'm trying to think of now. But yeah, sh make sure that this is shut off. From there, um, also, Windows 11 is a little different with shutting off the background apps. So if you have Windows 11, you're going to have to Google how to do that. I don't have Windows 11, haven't updated, because I know that it's a little more difficult to do this stuff, so I didn't even worry about it. All right, we're going to go back, go down here to the search again, go into Settings. And then you're going to want to go to gaming and make sure the Xbox game bar is off. You want this off. Again, it's going to be using resources that you don't want it using. So just shut it off. Then go to captures and shut these all off. Unless you're using it to record gameplay, shut it all off. It's going to be a lot better for you. Then you want game mode on. So you want this on. This is actually going to help improve your FPS in game. And it does actually work in season six. So this is something that you do want to have on. Uh, let me look at my notes here. Okay. From this screen, when you get to game mode, go over to graphics settings. And make sure hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is off. You don't want that on. It, uh, it doesn't really do anything. I have tested it a couple different ways, and it actually almost makes stuttering issues when it's on. So definitely keep that off. Uh, let's see here. Ah, Let's go to Home then. And then go to Apps. And then go to Startup. And in here... You would want all of these off. I have voice meter on because that's where I have my audio settings, which I'm going to share later on. But all this other stuff that you don't need to start on startup, shut it off because it's going to make things run a little slower on starting up. It's going to make it so that you have to go in here and actually shut off programs that are running. So yeah, you don't want those on. So that's another thing that you can do to help speed things up. The next thing we're going to look at, we're going to go to the config file for Call of Duty. And you're going to want to go to Documents, Call of Duty, Players, and then this right here, Options.3.COD22. Double click that. It's going to bring up this folder here. Now, if you want, you can go through and copy all of this. What you're going to want to copy is what is in the exclamation or not exclamation the uh, quotation marks here so these would be like your in-game settings some of them you can change to be different than you would in game so if you want to go through and copy these I will slowly scroll through until I get to a spot where I actually have some things that definitely need, need to be changed in here and you can go back later on and see these also, take screenshots, stuff like that. I'm going to keep scrolling slowly through.
But yeah, you'll notice some of this stuff in here is actually stuff that you'll see when we get into the settings in Call of Duty. Uh, almost down. Actually, I will say one thing. Right here, this line here, in the game, when you put the clutter max distance on, it will only go down to 500. So you see this number right here? It'll only go down to 500. You can actually lower it here in this screen by going and copying this 100 and putting it here. That just makes it so that when you're in game, you'll notice that rocks appear like right at your feet pretty much. So it basically helps reduce the resources that are loading as you're running around. So if you have a lower end PC, I would say change this and see if you have a better performance, higher frames, stuff like that. Okay, we're gonna keep going down. And like I said, you can go back and copy these later also and pause the video, which will make it a little easier. That way we're not spending so much time on this. Yeah, PC is definitely way, way good. We're almost down. Okay. Now, we're going to go right here. This is the other thing that's very important. This renderer worker count. This number right here. If you have an Intel uh, CPU, that number is going to be the amount of cores that you have for your CPU. If you have an AMD car or CPU, that is going to be halved. So I have a 12 core CPU. I'm gonna put a six here. If I had an Intel and it was 12 core, I would put 12. So that's just, that is one thing that you're gonna to have to change here in this file. Other than that, you'll go up to the top, hit file, save, and then we can go ahead and head into the game. So give me one second and I'll be back with you guys. Uh, let me remove that. Okay. That is no problem, Bobby. It happens. It's just because you were trying to say someone's name and uh, Streamlabs didn't like it. Okay, so now we're in game. We're going to go ahead and go to our graphics settings. Not really too much in display. Uh, looking through here. Um,. I'll make it, I'll talk about this display gamma really quick. If you read it, 2.2 is going to be for computer monitors. 2.4 is going to be for your TV screens. So if you have a TV screen, you'll, you might want to go in here and change this to 2.4. If you're on a computer monitor, you want it to be on 2.2. As for brightness, I have mine at 55, just a little brighter than what it normally is, and I might go, I'll probably leave it there. Uh, and then I have HDR off. We're gonna go over to quality. Now, here's the thing with the upscaling. I've been trying a couple different ones. I'm on Intel XESS, but I don't know if I like it. There's so many different ones here. I've tried DLSS, DLAA, pretty much all of these. Uh, I did AMD when I had my AMD card. I just, I don't, I haven't really found one that I like yet, but this is the one that I'm running now, and I have it on ultra quality. So you can try this. 
um, and see what you think and what works best for you. And let me know in the comments because I'm still not sure what I like. So if you find something that you like with these upscalings, let me know and I'll try it out and see what I think. Uh, some of this will work for Xbox, Bobby. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that, cat. Uh, video memory scale, I have that turned up to 85, but there is something you can do to figure out where you actually can adjust this to. If you go, let's see here, it's in, is it in multiplayer, I think? If you have multiplayer, like, you have to have the whole game, obviously. Go in here, and then, where is it? I'm trying to think where it was. It was... Maybe it's not in here. Okay, let me go back. There is a... Unless they took it out. Did they take it out? They couldn't have taken it out, did they? There was a... Thing you could do. They must have taken it out. That you can actually see how much uh, video memory you're using. But I don't see it anymore. I wonder if they removed it. Well, anyway, we'll go back to settings. I don't know where it is. I'll have to look for it later. But yeah, I have mine to 85. I could actually lower it because I don't use that much. So, uh, Some of these settings could be on console. I'm not really sure. I haven't been on console lately. So, All right. Now we get down to the actual details and textures and stuff like that. We're going to go with texture resolution as normal. You can go lower if you need to. As you can see, my VRAM usage dropped significantly just going to low. So if you have a lower end PC and you don't really care too much about the graphics, you can go a little lower and you might get a little more frames. Uh, I go with normal just because I stream and I want to be able to have good visuals. Same thing with these next three. So texture filter anastrophic, I have as high. You can lower it down if you need to with a lower end PC. Nearby level, level of detail and distant level of detail, I like high because I like having that detail. I like being able to pick things out, especially at a distance. Here's the clutter draw, and if you notice, there's nothing here. That is because in the config file, we changed that to 100, and there will be nothing there if you did that. Otherwise, you can change it to short and long if you didn't go into the con uh, config file, but I would go with probably short on that as it uses less resources. Uh, that would be great, Cat. That would actually work out. That way I could look at those. Particle quality, I have low. Particle quality level, very low. I like having bullet impacts on, because then you can tell, like, sniper shots, where they're coming from, stuff like that. So you can kind of see, like, which direction everything's happening and whatnot. Persistent damage layers is off. Shader quality low. Tessellation off. On-demand texture streaming is definitely off. You don't want streaming happening in the background because it might give you some latency and some lag issues. Streaming quality low, volumetric quality low, deferred physics quality low. Water quality I have set to default. All of this stuff, you don't want it on. It's just going to make it so that you can't see in the water. The water is going to look a lot better if you have this on, but you're not going to see people swimming around. You want this set <laughs> to default. I would like to just shut it off completely, have like bare minimum water, but default is what we have, so go with default. Shadow map resolution, very low. Screen space shadows, low. Spot shadow quality, low. Spot cache, I have set to ultra. It seems to actually work a little better when I have this up all the way. Uh, you could probably go medium and be fine with a lower end PC. Particle quality, or particle lighting is low. Ambient occlusion off. Screen space reflections off. Static reflection quality low. Weather grid volumes off. And then we have NVIDIA reflex low latency on plus boost. Everything else is off. 
yeah, you don't want depth of field. You don't want any sort of a blur when you're, you know, moving around, stuff like that. I mean, look at that. That looks really bad. That's going to just affect how you're able to see as you're moving around. I definitely shut that off. View, I am on 115 for my field of view. I've heard that at 120, it actually affects your aim assist. So since I'm on controller, I have that lowered down a little bit. ADS field of view is affected. Weapon field of view is wide. Uh, don't really do any third person stuff. And vehicle field of view is wide. Then for, again, movement stuff, you want that down at the least that it can possibly be. Next, we will go to interface. And there is something that you should do in interface. Go to color customization. Turn your color filter to filter two. Color filter target to both, and then crank these all the way up. Because that just makes the world look a lot better. Let's see if I can show it here. All right, so here we are with filter two, and there's none. It really brings out, if you look at the building there, dull and nice and bright. So definitely turn filter two on. It's going to make things a lot brighter in game. Yeah, I would try try lowering it down a little, Cat. It might uh, might make it a little better. And then you can go through here and change these colors to whatever you want. Make it a little easier for you to see. Other than that, I don't think there's anything else in here. Uh, make sure you have this to skip the intro movie. Turn that on. Shut that off. Um... Oh, inverted flash. I've actually been trying this out. This is a setting. I don't know if it's on console. This might be on console. But inverted flash. So instead of it being a bright white flash, it's actually a black flash. And you might have seen it when I was playing in game. I don't know how long I've had it on now, but you'll see it today when I'm doing the flash. It's it's way different. It's really, really weird. Go in here and try this. It's in uh, interface. Try this out. See if you like this more than the bright white flash. It actually also helps uh, with like you're playing in the dark, stuff like that. You don't want to be completely blinded. So you, you're able to see what's going on even after it. Yeah, black. Black is nice. Other than that, we can go to audio. Uh, this is the audio settings I'm using right now. Let me see here. But I am also using custom audio and give me a second here. I'm going to add. I didn't show this yet. And I do want you guys to see this one second display capture. All right, we'll do that. All right. Right here, this guy art is war. If you notice, he has a lot of audio stuff for Warzone, which works also in DMZ. Very, very nice audio settings. I'm actually using his audio settings. He worked on um, Better Call Saul audio there. So he is an audio guy. He's an official audio guy. He knows what he's talking about. Very, very good audio. Uh, my buddy that was here Friday use the audio and he's just like it's crazy how clear you can hear the footsteps so definitely definitely check out art is war and i'll leave him linked when i do this video uh down below so that you guys can go to him if you're on pc uh let's get rid of that let's remove it uh joseph I can when it's Friday. Friday is playing with viewers. Uh, is there any other settings you guys can think of? Maybe controller settings we can look at? Not really much changed with controller, though. Uh, have your apply all, all for armor plate behavior. That's, you know, definitely key. I have automatic sprint off. I know there's still people that run with it on, but... When you're trying to finesse in buildings, you don't want to automatically be tech sprinting. 
Or if you're trying to be quiet, you don't want to automatically tech sprint and let people know about it. So I have mine off and I have, where is it? There is something that you can turn on. Maybe it's an advanced. One second, let me find it. Is it this? No. Okay, this should not be, this should be single tap. This right here, single tap run. Set that to single tap run, that way you just hit it once. I don't know why it changed. Hit it once and then you'll be right into tax sprint. And you don't have to take your hand off of your controller, off your thumbstick to do it. So it's actually nice with that uh, inverted slide and dive behavior I have on. I also have plunging underwater as plunge freely. Uh, I think there was something up at the top too. Aim response curve I has, have as dynamic and then I just use the default aim assist. I think that is it for settings. I don't think there's anything else. But that will be for everybody that was asking about the settings. Uh, Joseph, like I said, Friday. Friday, I can help you get that. Okay, so I'm going to do a warm-up game here. I've actually been doing... I did. I tried the um, Black Ops one back when it was overpowered. And it's not good anymore. There's actually, let's see here. Because there's a couple different ones. So you have default, you have precision, which that's basically like when it think of it like a box, okay? So you have a player box. This makes the box smaller, but it makes it stronger. So if you use this one all the time, precision all the time. You'll get used to, as soon as that aim assist kicks in, you can hit them. Probably better uh, for snipers, I would say, precision would be. Just because you'll be moving it in, as soon as you feel that aim assist kicked in, you snipe. Focusing is if you're missing, it's basically like same, same size box as default from what I understand. But if you're missing, like if you're always missing the target just barely, it might help to aim those bullets a little more from what I understand with it. I don't know. I, I don't really like precision. I've always used default Vivo, so that's why I just go with that. And then Black Ops is basically just like default. It was overpowered, but they nerfed it. It was quite a bit stronger than the default. So, since they nerfed it, I just go with default. Uh, no video explaining how to get the FR Advancer. Wasn't the FR... The FR Advancer was in the Battle Pass, wasn't it? Last season? Let me look here. Want to go to... Let's go here. Let me look at the FR Advancer really quick. I can't remember. I mean, you could unlock it by going to the store and buying one of the bundles. I don't... I think it was a Battle Pass thing, though. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was in the, um, Battle Pass. Okay, anyway, for warm-up, since I've been working on improving PvP, we're going to do Lockdown Quads, and I am going to turn Squad Fill on. Actually, no. You know what? I'm not going to turn squad fill on. I'll go in solo. But this has been a great way to 
improve PvP. I've noticed that when I go in here, play like, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes, do like three or four matches, and then go into DMZ, I am a lot smoother with my engagements. So if you're looking to improve at PvP, doing something like Lockdown Quads where you're able to just keep going in, keep getting in engagements is really, really good. So we're going to go in here, we're going to try this out for a little bit, and then I'm going to load into DMZ, especially doing solo. Well, that's interesting, Bobby. At least you got out. <laughs> and still got the case. Maybe it's because the case extracted. But yeah, Joseph, uh, you can probably, you can kill somebody with the FR Advancer. I've seen it multiple times in there. And then extract it that way. But yeah, Fridays are my playing with viewers days. Merc Monster, what's going on? How are you doing tonight? So yes, just to let you guys know, I am doing lockdown to do some warm-up. And then we'll be going into DMZ solo. just came from. Uh oh! <laughs> what the hell was that? Hey Clara, how are you doing tonight? But you saw the you saw the flash with the uh, black screen. That's actually really nice. You can see way quicker. Nice Merc Monster. Yeah, I should do that tonight. I should get some skeleton keys. All right, first game. Let's see how this goes. So I don't really go for zones, just because I'm going in here to warm up. I did, yeah. <laughs> I that guy with his shield. <laughs> Not again. Guy up above me. Ooh. Let's make a deal. Again, first game. First game on. Gotta do my warm up here. Yeah, this game mode is nice though. You just keep getting into engagements. So make your mistakes now, and then, uh, then you can learn from them.
Come on. There we go. <laughs> oh, that guy's screwed. No, Bebo, I'm doing solo stuff tonight. Tonight is solo. Oh, crap. Go down. Enemy soldier incoming. He's over here. Nope. New zone. Right there. One shot shotgun. That's the thing, like, this game mode, this game mode is just basically one shot shotguns. Uh, Steven, that's still a possibility. I'm just doing, uh, just doing some warm ups. Yeah, this game mode has a lot of the one shot shotguns. Oh, it won't let me up. Need pistol rounds. Another one. What the? <laughs> I shot too early. I heard him coming up. Alright, let's see here. Let's go down. Guess let's go down right over here. Oh, that guy's going down right there too. Got a guy pushing. We hold the zone. Zones have relocated. Get moving. Guy behind me. <laughs> Dude, those Lockwoods, it's just ridiculous, like, I feel like that's something they should immediately nerf, is those Lockwoods. Because that is just, that is just so overpowered. I was getting shot from 20 meters away. And getting one shot down. Uh... Enemy soldier incoming. One shot shotgun behind me. There's a one-shot shotgun in the stairs. High value zone identified. Lock it down to I have no ammo. Dropping into the area. Watch the sky. I have... Yeah, I was gonna say I have no ammo. <laughs>
Um. Uh, crap. I knew that was gonna happen. We control the zone. Fifteen seconds before zones relocate. We have the zone. Defend it. Actually, yeah, I need that more than anything. I can't see. An enemy squad is halfway to victory. Get in control. Ah. Too many people. I gotta get out of here. Oh yeah, I'm dead. He was following me. Art is war, Bevo. Art is war. He's got really, really good audio settings. I actually was just talking about him in the settings. Oh, fuck yeah. I saw that he saw I was landing there. But yeah, art is war. Really good to hear footsteps. Uh, let's see here. Probably not good to land there. Oh, there's a guy over here. Yep. Hostiles dropping into the area. Watch the skies. Really? Get them secure. There's people on me. I have no plates or ammo. Stand by for new zone. I need ammo and plates. So they're right above me. Zone secure. Enemy soldier incoming. Oh, one shot shotgun. Man, like that's the thing. It's just so annoying. Like you don't even get the chance to react. Oh, there's somebody behind me. Bad shot. Ooh, buddy. No plates. Last chance. Control those zones. 
Oh, he's coming up. Need pistol rounds. Zones are relocating soon. Where'd you go? Enemy soldier incoming. Oh, he went down. Oh. Learn from the lost. Failure is a wise teacher. Yeah, I'll take it. All right, we'll load into DMZ now. Alright, let's see here. Oh, I suppose I could loot up these last guys. Let's take a look. What missions do I need to do? Ooh, that's an easy one. Four commanders without dying. Collect two bounties. Okay. Hmm. I could try doing that one, too. All right, here we go. Also, as I was telling you guys in a previous stream, I am going to be doing some raffles for beta codes for MW3. And I have three of them. So let's go ahead and start a giveaway now. I don't remember what setting I had on this, though. So. Let me see here. All right. Yes, exclamation raffle to enter into the raffle for your chance to get a MW3 beta code. And it'll be up for 10 minutes. So after this match, I will choose a winner. So, with MW3 and the possibility that DMZ is not going to get anything new, still going to be playable, just not anything new, what are your guys' thoughts on it? Um, should I cover the zombies that comes out? Because I was really thinking about doing some of the zombies. Should I do some Warzone stuff? What, uh, what do you guys think on that? Obviously, it still covers some DMZ, but if DMZ kind of dries out, I'll need something that I can do also with that. I was thinking about doing some Warzone stuff. Explore, secure intel, and loot to gain access to new missions. I kind of, I kind of started with Warzone, and then uh, DMZ came out, and I'm like, yeah, I want to do DMZ. 
mix it up. Oh hey, there's a helicopter over here. See, the thing with DMZ, though, if they don't do anything new with it, like, I won't be able to do videos. So that's the only downside of, that I'm worried about with, uh, with DMZ. Won't get stale if you're doing the same stuff. I mean, it would get stale if I'm doing the same stuff over and over again. I don't know, I definitely think that mixing it up a little, maybe... I don't know. Yeah, that's that's true, Merc Monster. Just kind of help everybody else out with stuff. Like, it's nice that DMZ is still going to be around. It just, I'm a little worried if they don't put it into, or if they don't give it, like, MW3, for instance, movement, or do anything new with missions or anything. It's just like, I don't know, I'm just not going to want to continue just every day loading in and doing the same thing over and over and over. Two classified docks. I like to change it up a little bit. I kind of agree with that too, Mudbug dude. I don't think the new zombies is going to be something that lasts. Ultra one, activity is increasing near your own. Uh, I actually, there's an extraction, I think it's an extraction shooter that's coming out called Off the Grid. And I've been looking at that one. The problem with doing other games is that I've done only DMZ on this channel. So it would be really difficult to do that, to switch to another game and still have the viewers. I would have to basically rebuild the base. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go towards city. Yeah, and that's what I'm afraid of, Merc Monster. Ultra One, completing contracts earns you cash to use at buy stations for gear and upgrades. Ultra One, you've got hostile reinforcements incoming. I'm thinking I could get back into like. Warzone a little more. Maybe do like off and on Warzone and DMZ. I was hearing a vehicle down there. Yeah, there's players down there. I don't know, maybe I'll try like a Warzone stream or whatever. That's... Oh, there's a player right there. Time to fly! Ultra 
This guy's just being aggressive with everyone. Why are you being aggressive with people, dude? You make them angry. You make them very angry. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Ooh, I almost fell. Well, dang. Pretty sure he went in there. I just can't see him. Oh shit, right here on me. Uh, killing operators will mark you as a bounty target. That's a denied area. Enemy presence will be high. Ultra One, an operator body. is near your location and requesting medical. Jump down. Ultra One, you've got hostile reinforcements incoming. Oh, he just took some line up. He's on the roof. He's on the roof to the right of our body. Moped boys coming back. Jesus. Oh, 
Hostile UAV in this sector. Time for me to bail. Oh, hey. Need to be careful here. Ooh, that's why. That's why I need to be careful. Oof. They're up at high rise. Come on. Actual to Ultra One. ISR confirms the warlord Al Nar, codename Pyro, is near your location. He has a contract. Ultra One, you've got hostile reinforcements incoming. Go up this way. Hopefully. Man, I need to find stuff for a three plate. That's what I should be doing right now. I'm gonna get destroyed if I get sniped in the head. Take that, you son of a... <sighs> Ooh. Yeah, I think I should just go get stuff for a three-plate. Um... There's a vehicle there. I'm fighting two teams now. Yeah, it's time for me to just go make a three plate. Very true, Steven. Very, very true. Yeah, because, like, right now, I'm sure there's things I'm missing. But being, like, in the fight is just... You don't really think about it. You're just thinking, you know, either hit them, survive, whatever. Oh, yeah. See? Exactly what I'm talking about right there. Activity has increased in the area. Keep your eyes open. Uh, Beto, yes. They definitely have an advantage over console players. Oh yeah, see, they're- they're coming towards me now. Yeah, definitely. Like, just the visibility. Like, right now I'm getting 140 frames. At 1440. You can't get that on console. So it makes things really, really clear. So I'm able to see things a lot better than what everybody else can. So it's definitely, uh, I would say definitely better. Uh, 
Um, I guess I'll go over here and check. But I mean, I've seen some console players that are way better than me getting like, you know, tons of kills and everything like that. Like, it's just, it is better. It does give you an advantage, but it's not like it's the end all best thing ever. Like, you still have to have um, game sense and ability and whatnot to be able to play. So yeah, a lot of it is in how you play and how well you are playing. Um, I don't really want to go across. There's like not really a good spot to go here. Check for game console really quick. No game console. Yeah, that's true. Internet does matter as well. Yeah, long range accuracy, I will. Like, I have a Xbox that I've played on. And, for instance, seeing up here, this building. On PC, right now, I could see if there's a player up there. So I would see movement. Whereas, on Xbox, you'd have to... You'd have to aim in and look. So visibility is a is a big thing. Plus you have more settings that you can mess with. So you have graphic settings that you can mess with, audio settings, everything that you can do on PC that you can't do on console. Ultra One, you've got hostile reinforcements incoming. Well, maybe that's maybe that's the thing. You're you're too close to your large TV. Like right now, this monitor that I'm on is a 27-inch monitor, and I actually might be too close how I'm sitting right now. I'm like maybe two feet, maybe a little more than two feet away from it. So there's also like I think you can look online to see like what the ideal distance is based on your screen size. Maybe you're just too close. I don't know. There's no gas mask here? What the heck? I will say this, uh, also, like, I would take a small monitor like I have right now, um, over a large TV, just because I can make this monitor way better, like, I can get, you know, 1440, um, have better colors and stuff like that, everything that I need to be able to see clearer, whereas a TV... Uh, you know, you're- you're paying for more for the size, I feel. Uh, I Light think I'll marked. go get that. But yeah, the- the distance matters because if you're too close, your brain's not gonna be able to process everything that's happening. At least that's, that's the way I feel about it. So you want to have like that perfect distance away where your brain can see everything that's going on, you know? Hope nobody's over here. Doors are open, somebody was here.
Hey, game console. Just what I needed. No, size does not matter. <laughs> Ultra One, activity is increasing near your location. Stay alert. All right, at least I have a three plate now. I guess I could have just picked those up. I'd like to find a backpack, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Let's see, what's on the map? Um, I guess I technically could go for one of these supply drops, see if I can get a large backpack. No vehicle, go for that. Yeah, that's- that's just too slow, Cat. Like, when I switched... When I switched from, uh, Xbox... ...to, uh, PC, it was just such a crazy change. Like, I don't even- I can't even- the only way I can describe it... If you never had glasses... ...and then... ...somebody's like, hey, your vision's bad, here, put these on... ...and then all of a sudden, it's like, oh my god, I can see clearly. That is what it is going from console to PC. Oh. So like right now, and then and then the thing is, I started out 1080p. That's my second monitor now. 1080p with uh, 165 hertz. I upgraded to 1440 with 165, and again, world of difference. Holy crap. Yeah, that's- that's kind of why I marked that box up there. Figured I could go up there and check around there. Also, since we're here, next week the stream schedule is going to be a little different because I'm going to be able to do MW3 uh, beta. So I'm going to include that into the stream schedule. Friday we'll still be playing with viewers, but I think I'm going to be streaming Thursday also. So the schedule will be a little different. Ooh. Shouldn't have gotten out there. Excuse me, Mr. Rocket Man. Please don't. There's a gas mask. Ow. Oh my god. Oh, no. Alright, I'm not checking that room. <laughs> That's too many. I'll go check this other supply box down here and grab this vehicle. Nice cat.
Hey, large backpack. Just what I needed. All right. I'm pretty happy with where, where my PC is right now. I probably won't upgrade or change anything. It's, uh, it's pretty good where it is. He dodged and I was moving away from him. <laughs> Ultra One, enemy threat is moderate near your location. And it's here. I have the 4070 Ti. Actually, it, the box for it is sitting behind me, but my uh, cam isn't on right now. But yeah, it's a 4070 Ti. But yeah, it's perfect. It allows me to stream and play in 1440. So I'm happy with it. Sounds good, Beto. Yeah, I'm not gonna... I don't think I'm gonna stop with DMZ, but I think I'm gonna do, like, other stuff along with DMZ, with uh, MW3. So... Yeah, I think I'm gonna start incorporating maybe some Warzone, or, like, maybe do a stream where it's half Warzone, half DMZ. Heck, maybe we'll do some uh, playing with viewers with Warzone stuff. Who knows? <clears throat> All right, let's see here. Oh, we only have we only have five people in the raffle. All right. All right. Is there anybody else who wants to get into the raffle? I can resume entries. Anybody else want to do the raffle? Is that it for the raffle? Yeah. the The one this forty seventy Ti was like eight hundred and twenty. Yeah, is there anybody else who wants to do the raffle? I can resume it for a second if there's anybody else who wants to get in the raffle. You do? Okay, let me resume. All right. Exclamation raffle. I should probably increase the timer. 10 minutes isn't very long. I could do that. Like that game mode that I was playing in the beginning, heck, we could just load in and do something like that, too. Load in, maybe even help people out with improving at Warzone, like... Obviously, I'm not... I'm not, like, the best, obviously. But... I'm above average, so there is still tips that I can give you to improve, you know? And then as I'm able to play more, I'll be able to improve faster also. But yeah, that's why I've been playing more Warzone stuff, because I'm trying to improve, because I want to do more Warzone with MW3. Alright, I'm going to close the entries now. All right, are you guys ready 
to do this draw. All right, here we go. Winner is... Bobby! Bobby, you are the winner of the code. Beta code for MW3. Uh, you are in Discord, right? <clears throat> Rigged. Uh, let's see. There we go. Yeah, Bobby, you're in the Discord, right? Yeah, pretty sure you are. Let me find you here. What is your... Actually, just... Can you message me in Discord? That way I can just... I'll send it to you that way. Yeah, I'm gonna change the time on that. I don't think 10 minutes is long enough. We have two more to do, so... Let me... Complete that. All right, I'm going to change the time, make it a little longer. I will not give any more chances with this longer time, though. There's still two codes to give away. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll start another one with the longer timer. 20 minutes. Bobby, you are not allowed to enter this one. Or if you enter and win, you will... We will have to choose another one. <laughs> you have no idea how to use Discord? What's your... Oh, there you are. I see you. I sent you a message. Beto, are you, uh, are you, you're sub to the channel, right? Because you only receive one. Maybe that's because of members. Members receive more tickets. Yeah, that's that's how I have it set up. Never mind. Then I'm going to send you the code. And then there's also instructions in that also for you, Bobby. Okay, let's load into the next game here. I guess I should get another character looted up. Um... Yeah, we'll go back to Almazra. So yes, two more codes that I have. All right, let's see here. Reese Cups in, Beto's in, Cat's in, Merc Monster, and Steven all are in the raffle. I should do more of these raffles. Actually, in this uh, 4070 Ti box, I have my old 6750 uh, I think it's MSI GPU. I'm wondering if I should raffle that off one time. That'd be a way for a PC player to get into 1440 um, gaming. 
This raffle is to get an MW3 beta code. Drive-In and Badass gave me three codes, so I am raffling them off to you guys. I think that would be a good one for people to do, uh, come by for a raffle, just because I think, I think I paid 300 for it, like, the AMD graphics cards Welcome are cheaper, better for gaming than NVIDIA, NVIDIA, but NVIDIA is better for streaming and gaming, so that's why I switched back. I only used it for maybe, like, a couple months, and then when I took it out, I put it right into the 4070 Ti box. So, I haven't, like, messed with it or anything. It's in the anti-static bag. I'm getting shot at. I'm wondering if I should go to this bank. I'm a little iffy with only having one plate. I know that players spawn over here. Well, let's see what happens. Yeah, I wish I had more beta codes to give away, but, uh, yeah, I just have the ones that Driven and Badass gave me. Huh, maybe nobody came over here? Thumb drive, there's two plate. I hear a vehicle coming. Did I hear somebody snipe at them? I swear I heard somebody snipe. Oh, stop doing that. <laughs> yes, definitely enjoy that, uh, Bobby. And let me know what you think of uh, MW3 also when you're playing it. I don't know where these guys went. Makes me a little nervous. I think they went away from me because I haven't heard the comms from them. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna let them be. I don't wanna, really want to get involved in that. Especially with only a two plate. I 
I need to remember, get plated up before getting into engagements. Hey, a gold bar. Hearing him again. Jeez. Ultra One activity has increased in the I'm, area. Keep your I'm gonna try and go closer to him and try and talk to him. Actually, I'll go up. Man, you guys made them angry. What are you doing in there? They're so angry. Yes, yes, this is comms. I'm just, just talking to you guys. I'm not here to shoot or anything like that. Just talking. They don't want to talk back. Yeah, I'm just I'm just hanging out. I'm not not here to shoot you guys. Just saw you guys pulled up and started doing that, so I thought I'd come over and say hi. You do sound very friendly. I'm very friendly. Nah, nah. I'm doing I'm doing some solo stuff, so that's okay. We love you long time. Operators in your area are requesting teammates. <laughs> yeah, it's nice meeting you guys. Yeah, nice meeting you. See you guys later. And then they shoot me in the back. I like seeing how people react because sometimes they'll, you know, they'll talk with you and stuff like that and be nice, but other times they'll be like, hey, comms, and then everything will go silent, and it's like, all right, so I know that you're not friendly. <laughs> so now I know I should probably engage you. I could go into mall. Probably go into mall and get uh, a three plate. Probably get a game console too. It's nice to find players that aren't just actively hunting. Like, you could tell they're not, they're just, they're doing some sort of a mission or whatever. I'm gonna have to go in. All right. Ultra One, you've got hostile reinforcements Just solos for tonight, uh, nine Trikai. Yeah, just Sundays are more my solos, just kinda get on, relax, maybe get some content. Like earlier we did uh, um, my settings and stuff like that, so now it's just kinda doing some runs. Hey, I'm Isma. Hey, three plate. I'll take that.
now if I can find a game console, I'll be set. <laughs> He's a friendly voice. Well, so much for that. Oh, a shield guy? Come on. Don't come in here, shield guy. I don't want to deal with you. You just stay out. You just stay out there. Um... He came in. Oh, come on. No! I'm in a predicament. And it's not gonna end well. No! He hit me into a corner! He hit me into a corner! Go over the side! <laughs> How the heck did I get away from that? Wait a second. Somebody's been here. <gasps> Somebody has been here. Are they still here? Uh oh. No, not again. Let me get this trip wire. Come on. I hate how tricky it is to get these trip wires sometimes. There we go. Yeah, well that's the thing, like, they will still shoot you even with the smoke. Like, I've done that before, you know, use the smoke to try and get away. But then they still shoot you. It's like, what the heck? So that's almost like a waste. All these shield guys, man. the shield guy went. That makes me a little nervous. Yeah. What the? I thought they couldn't come in here. I just get both those guys? Ah. Alright. I'm just here for a game console.
think that's bots. Drove kind of weird, so I don't know if that's bots or players. Oh, it's bots. Okay. Are we good now? No. Of course not. Of course we aren't good. Let me get your foot. Let me get your foot one more time. Alright, now I can move around. Jeez. Definitely need this. Can't pick it up. I'm trying the other tricks that I learned. The, uh... It's not working. Ugh. Like, the game's like, oh, you need plates? Here. Look at this plate box that's sitting right in the ground that you can't pick up. Yeah, you want these plates? You can't have them. That's right, you can't have these plates. Still no game console. Very upsetting. You need that. Probably should get another one. <laughs> the bots are evolving. Getting stronger. Faster. More durable. Um, no game console. No game console. Get shot at. I turn that to single fire. Again? Ultra One, you've got hostile reinforcements incoming. Ultra One, where's activity in the area? Stay sharp. Why? Why you do this? I don't want to fight you. I just want a game console. There's another truck. Look at all those trucks out there. There's three now. I think they're gonna start blowing up now, too. They're all gonna blow up at once. It's gonna be great. There's one. There's no game console in here, is there? That is crazy. Usually there's a game console in here. Wasted all this time. Oh, hey! I can actually pick up that one. Look at that. was a bad spot to go down to. Really bad spot. I was trying to leave. Yeah, I want to get one of the scuba gas masks. I think I'm just gonna go out the top here. There goes another one. That is a player. Think he left. Let's just double check. Yep. <laughs> Cannot loot while parachuting.
Alright, so I have nothing. Cool. Gas is there. Hopefully I can get a three plate from City. Ultra one, be advised. Threat level is high in this AO. Expect contact. Long trip. Ultra one, enemy threat is moderate near your location. I should stop at a gas station and see if I can get a gas mask. Don't shoot at me, I've done nothing to you. Don't think I'm gonna stop at this gas station though. I'll go to a different one. Yeah, I'm not that worried about it. I have a three plate. It's just not a three plate stealth. Oh, they took it up on top. Yeah, they're using it as bait. They're using that weapons case as bait. 100% guarantee on that. Why are you guys shooting the truck? The truck did nothing to you. What the heck? <laughs> I swear I'm- immediately I saw that guy run again. I'm like, what the heck? There's a midget? <laughs> what the- <laughs> There's another one! Just how he was running through, I was- oh my god. Holy crap. Ugh. Ooh. All right, I'm good. We are good now. Like, that's something that I don't understand how they haven't fixed. The bots, like, clipping into the ground like that. <laughs> Trying any, they're trying to halfway go into the ground just to stop me. Man, I am not finding anything. Holy crap. Hey, a comic book. Apparently I do have a gas mask. Hey, a game console. We're getting somewhere now. All right. It's gonna be a little closer to him. But let's try it. Or actually, no, we can go to... I have another idea. I have a better idea than going there. So where do you think these guys are at? Do you think they're up on high rise, maybe? Looking at that weapons case? I definitely feel the weapons case is a trap. Oh, the train. I was like looking up at the buildings, not paying attention to the mini map. What are you guys doing? I didn't see anyone sniping down from down up there, so I think we're all right. There's a mask. Gas is gonna start moving soon. Oh, so, a funny thing happened last night. Who was I playing with when this happened? I, uh, I downed somebody. I was on train, downed somebody, and then immediately jumped off to go after him, right? 
jumped off the train to go after uh, the person that I downed, jumped right in front of the other train. <laughs> like, immediate down, couldn't res me. I can't remember who I was playing with, though. But yeah, that was... I didn't record it either. That would have been a great clip. I think somebody has completely looted everything here. Hmm. Gonna have to go somewhere else, I think. Oh, it was Cat. Cat and Reaper. There we go. This, this person had a game console. And a geist. Somebody else died here. I don't see any other bags. I can try high rise. That guy, that guy just clipped right through that center, center uh, median there. If I have to, I can always go into Koshai. Somebody was here. It makes me a little nervous. The noise of the lights sounds so weird with me running up like this. Oh, somebody's been through here too, I bet. Ugh. Hey! Alright. I have everything I need. There's a game console right there too. Alright. Way up here. Right up by station here. Yeah, that's going to be where I'm going to have to go, to. We'll continue to go up these stairs. Well, let's see if anybody's up here. The game development? Yes, I do know about that. It's over by that bank. Um, It's like over there-ish, I think. Is that a person right there? It's not a person. I'm gonna have to jump, but I'm a little iffy. So I have to fly right past that building. Alright. Let's see what happens. Sounds good, Bobby. I'm glad everything worked out. I'm really watching this building here. Maybe somebody just left it? I don't know. I guess at this point, we'll just go into the water area of Koshai. We'll do some Koshai. Actually, I do have enough for personal. I could have bought a personal. Eh, I'll just go into Koshai. I've gone too far now. 
Yes, the raffle has ended. After this match, I will select a winner from the raffle. And then once I select that one, we'll open up the next raffle. Or maybe I'll wait till closer to the end, I don't know. Yeah, actually I'll probably wait till closer to the end. So what do you guys think? What what content would you like to see with DMZ? Like I've covered some key loop stuff with Vondel. I could possibly do uh, a Sheikah because I know that there's a couple keys that you can get in kind of a chain there. What uh what things would you like to see from DMZ? I could do more PvP stuff, like I don't really go for PvP that often. But that's something I could do. Maybe I could do uh, the Secrets of Koshai. Like the secret in each of the areas. Like, for instance, these keys that you can get in the water area. Now that I kind of have an idea where they are. Specific mission walkthrough. The issue is that I've done the missions. I've done some of the missions, so it would be hard to do specific mission walkthroughs unless it'd be like tier 5 stuff. There's another bot. What's up, Big Nap Show? Like, I could do some more PvP stuff. And that would possibly tie in if I started doing more Warzone stuff, too. Hey, Heat of Madness. Oh, it could be back in here, too. I completely always forget about this room. That the key could be back in here. So all those times where I'm like, I don't know where the key is. Uh, did you check in that little ventilation shaft? There it is. Um... So there, now I have both keys. I am a little, like, I'm excited for zombies, but I'm also thinking that zombies is going to be a little, it's going to get boring, I think, after a little bit, because there's not going to be PvP. PvP keeps a game, especially a game like this, 
fresh and interesting. I think I'm going the right way, if I remember correctly. So I think without PvP in the zombie world, it's going to be a little... Um... Boring after a time. But I am looking forward to playing it and doing some content on zombies. And finding all the secrets and everything like that. I'm pretty excited for that. I didn't realize you could do that. You can literally just keep selling this. Wow. That's ridiculous. Somebody had said something about it, but I was checking that. <laughs> Who was it that said that you could do that? That's just crazy. Yeah, uh... I don't know about that big nap show. I think that it would give it a very different dynamic because you have the AI, um, like the AI control or the bot, what are they, the human-like bots or whatever. So if you had players that could also interact with them, like let's say you load into zombies, you're always going against people, right? Just for instance. Then, after a time, you're able to interact with those other bots that are around the map and can uh, take quests from them and stuff like that. I think that would be cool. Have two different factions based on how you play the game. That would be kind of cool. I don't want a light bulb. Open. Well, I guess I can exfil. There's not really much else I need to do. I'll go buy an L2 key. Buy an L2 key and get out. Make sure I get my money back. See, that would be interesting, Bobby, but I think that is, uh, that's the event that's coming up if they do that. Yeah, that... What in the heck just happened there? Alright. Uh... <laughs> Nothing to see here, just moving on. Man, I just yeeted that body into a... into a shelving unit. Hit the sell all button. Ah, oh, it's too late. I've gone too far. I don't even see you. Where are you at? <laughs> I know, right? Oh, uh, that was kind of funny, though. I know there's going to be a shield guy. I'm trying to see it.
I want to find the shield guy before he finds me. Are you a shield guy? Can't see you. Ah. You're a shield guy. Come back. Not you. Oh boy. Shotgun! It's just not fair with the shot with the bots with the shotguns. Like, come on. Jeez, man. They're just so aggressive. Definitely need those extra plates. Alright, now, back to the shield guy. Um, I've lost him. Really? You're gonna shoot a shotgun from way back there? Are you serious, dude? <laughs> what in the heck was that bot doing? Alright. Shield guy, shield guy, shield guy. There's shield guy. Got a guy behind me, it sounded like. Oh, I guess not. What? What is shield guy doing? I can't... What? What is he doing? I just want to exfil, man. Come on. Where are you going? Jesus, man. Oh, that was funny. Holy crap. Oh, jeez. Huh, it didn't even go off. There is no safe distance. None at all. Ultra One, there's increased enemy activity. Ultra One, you've got hostile reinforcements incoming. Maybe we can do some of Sheikah Island next. A heat resistant key? I have not. I have not seen a heat resistant key. All Ultra, communications resecured. Work down there. Yeah, I have not seen a heat resistant key. Okay, let's check this raffle really quick.
All right, here we go. We're going to pick a winner for the next code. Next beta code is going to go to Merc Monster. Merc Monster is the next winner of the MW3 beta code. Let me see here. All right, let me find you here really quick, Merc. There you are. All right, there you go, Merc Monster. I have sent it in Discord. We will have one more code to give away, and it'll be closer to the end of the stream. So, one more chance. <laughs> really, really, really. Sorry, Reezy Cup. There's one more chance, though. And if I get any other codes, I will raffle them off also. So, just letting you know. Um, I'm going to be... Right back. I need to run upstairs, grab a drink really quick. All right. The code is so that you can play, I think it's two days of MW3 beta. But yes, it is a giveaway for the, I have, I had three, now I have one left of MW3 beta codes that Drive-In and Badass had. Is it for the duration? I thought it said two days on it. I'll have to look again. Yeah, I thought it said two days of beta. Minimum open beta duration is two days.
But yes, you have to go, and I think the instructions are on the codes when I send them. Let me double check. Yeah, you have to go to, um, it looks like www.callofduty.com backslash beta for more information. Apparently you enter in your console, and then uh, you're able to put in the code. Okay, going to Mashika. Going to load in with this operator though. Let's see, what keys do I have? Shipwreck key. See, I know that the shipwreck key, when you use it, it'll give you a drifting supply bag key. So I know about that little thing there. Research center, I'll take that key in. There's Suki Castle. Hmm. Kind of light on keys for a Shika. Should be, yes, Bobby. Tried doing the audio settings, couldn't get it to work on my headset. Okay, so, voice meter, okay, oh, wait. When you were setting it up, you have to do, did you set it up for your headset, or did you set it up for your normal speakers? Because when you're going through the video, it has you set it up for what your audio is going to be coming through. So you'll want to have it set up for your headset, and then on your normal speakers, you'll want it to be set to voice meter. If that makes sense. You might have to go back through. I'll, uh, I'll show Welcome you what Exploring part I was talking about after I get done here. Resistance from local forces and watch for other operators in the AO. Yeah, but when you're doing the whole thing, it has you set up one uh, one device. So if it's only if it's working on your speakers or like on your uh, computer speakers. Then that's probably oh, what you have set up. Let me up. But it's your call. Hey, there's a cigar box. Don't think I need a large bag. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying, like... It shouldn't, you should you shouldn't be able to swap it back and forth like that. Poor guy. Yeah, you shouldn't, 
uh, you shouldn't be able to switch it back and forth like that. It's just set to one device. Uh, I think it's Hasuvi. You have to set Hasuvi up for one device. Was that a bot or was that a player? I couldn't tell if that was a bot or a player that ran in. Woo! Okay. I need to focus up now. There's a lot going on. UAV, thank you. And that guy was not happy. Another research center. Is everybody coming here to research? Jeez, man. No, no, no. You don't set it in voice meter, though. You have to set it up in Hasu uh, the first one that you do. You don't set it in voice meter. And I think that's your issue right now. You might need to go back through the program. Let's see who's around. Okay, we have a team there. We have a guy here. Got a buy station here. Let's go for that guy first. Yeah, you set it up in the very beginning of the process. You don't set it up through, um, um, voice meter. This other team's coming over. Fuck! I'm getting shot by a bot! Dang it, bot! I think somebody's up here, actually. Maybe not? Man, my snipes are not on point right now. There we go. My snipes were not on point there. There's a team of three down there, though. So I don't know what the heck's going on. So there was a team of three back there. Actually, did somebody get picked up? One guy might have gotten picked up. They're coming up. I swear I heard somebody. 
Ultra One, enemy threat is moderate in the AO. Ultra One, be advised, threat level is high in this AO. Come on, bot. Be advised, the enemy attack helo is approaching your location. He's looking at somebody over there. Sometimes my snipes are on point, sometimes they're just not. Wonder what happened to those guys down there though. I really want to rotate over there. Nope, there's somebody up there. Don't think he saw me though. Alright, the only good spot would be up. But I think somebody might be up there too. Maybe not. Maybe I can take that roof. I'm looking for a shield guy now. I'm pretty sure that they are a platoon now. Because there was a solo and a three man, and if they pick. Oh, come on, shield guy. Right there. couldn't shoot me. It was too much of an angle. Oh, that's funny. Still trying to listen to see if they're gonna come over here. Nothing. I think I'm probably good to go back up to the roof. I think they're down. I think they're staying down low.
Yeah, peek it again. <laughs> I have mine set to 14. Ooh. Are you guys done peeking it? Nope, you're not. Requesting close air. Target marked. This is Phoenix 23. Visual on the target. Strike inbound. Oh no! Ah. Target area marked. You're cleared. Copy. Hot. Phoenix 23 on the approach. Strike inbound. Ultra One, enemy threat is moderate near your location. UAV overhead. Ultra One killing operators will put a contract on your head. Engage at your discretion. down, one on the other side down. Ultra One, we're seeing increased activity in the area. Stay sharp. Really? Really? The stupid one-shot shotgun, dude. I... I just, I, mm. This is why you have to just stay away and freaking snipe people. This is just ridiculous. There's no way in hell he should have won that. Absolutely ridiculous, man. I'm gonna use some guns to get rid of them here. Yeah, it's... I, you know, that's... That's one thing that I'm just like... I want MW3 to come because I just don't want to deal with this joke of a game anymore. Nah, I'm... I don't even... I'm not even worried about it. I don't want to get picked up by people. I do not want to get picked up by people at all.
Yeah, Steven. You're you're right about that. Welcome to Al Masra. Exploring, looting, and securing intel will open access to missions and targets. Expect resistance from local forces and watch for other operators in the AO. I think that was the last team on Ashika, too. I think the other teams were all taken out. There might have been one other team, but there's no vehicles at all. Holy crap. What the heck am I supposed to do here? Need to watch out the team that spawns on the far side. That's not a door. I thought that was a door. <laughs> Maybe I should just go into Koshai. Nothing to loot here. each other are now. Okay, he's moving to the side. So maybe he doesn't care about me. Yep, that's pretty much what I do, Bobby. Like, as soon as I know that their UAV is up, I'm out. I'm leaving the area. And the thing is, as a solo, you are going to be targeted. Because, think about it. Somebody that's hunting for kills, right? And this is something that you can take into Warzone too. When you're looking, when you have a UAV up, you're not going to go for the players that have full teams. You're going to go with the players that are on their own that you can do a 1v1 fight. So when you pop a UAV and you look at the map, those are the players that you want to go for if you're looking for kills. Especially with a game like this, if you're trying to fight multiple people, it's usually not going to work. And there's nothing really here. All right, is there a vehicle? There is. Car marked. Go out this way. That guy might have been a solo too. It's like, if I was going to hunt people, that would be the guy I would go for because he's on his own. He probably doesn't know where I am. So he would be the perfect one to go for, instead of trying to fight a whole team. Now, you can fight a team, for instance that team on Ashika. If you down and kill one, let's say you're facing a duo, if you down and kill one, then it's a one-on-one. -on -one. Go ahead and go take that fight. But don't try and force a fight between multiple people because you're gonna get killed.
That's players right there. They are not coming for me. That's good. I'm gonna die. Ooh, there's a bot right here. Really? Uh, nine try. It is going to continue, but other than it going into um, MW3, we're not sure what exactly is going to happen. So we know it's going to continue, but we don't know in what regard it's going to continue. Ooh, that's a two plate. I kind of wanted that. So yeah, we won't know until closer what exactly is going to happen with uh, DMZ. That's why I'm kind of thinking like... If I should kind of mix in some other content. Because if DMZ... Like DMZ is going to continue, obviously, from what they say. But if it's not going to get new content... I need to be able to do something else because DMZ content is going to dry up, pretty much. Like, there's only so many loot videos I could do before it's like, alright, I've shown all of the loot spots, I need to do something different. a three plate so that's good and like the other thing is um zombies zombies is another thing that's gonna kind of i think dry up i'm gonna cover it you know until it gets to where it's kind of boring and old and nobody really cares about it which i think is gonna happen I really don't like these shield guys. Cycle Frontier is no longer a game anymore, uh, Bevo. They have deleted it. It is gone. That was gonna be a game that I was gonna cover, though. The problem is trying to cover a different game now. Now that I have, um and covering DMZ is very difficult. Like, there's a core group of you that would um, definitely come by to see me play another game. But the majority won't, because the majority is here for DMZ content. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too, Steven. I just want to find all the secrets and everything with the zombies. I don't know why I brought this gun in. I really don't like it. This gun is just not... Not very good. Somebody's here. Pretty sure I heard somebody above me. Could be wrong. I'm listening for steps. The one game, the one game that I have been looking at that I think will be interesting 
is off the grid. If you haven't seen that game, definitely check that out. That, I think, is going to be interesting. Man. But yeah, I've been... I swear I keep hearing things, but... I've been uh, working with a YouTube coach just to try and improve my channel. And, uh, yeah, he was saying, like, well, if you want to do multiple games, you'll probably have to start a new channel just to do that. So I'm like, I don't don't really want to start a completely new channel, especially with all the time and effort that I've put into this one. I'm like, eh, I'll just stick with this then. At least until I get more of a core group of people. Um, I'm still looking for a game console. That's what I'm here for. Yeah. Yeah, and that's why I'm like, I'm trying to um, build a community. There's a game console. Build a community that, you know, we're all, we're all, basically, we're all friends, which we have like a nice little group with that right now. Robert, uh, Bevo has been my friend for a long time. Badass, Driving, Clyde, just to name a few. Bobby, now, Cat. There's, there's quite a few of you. I want to build a nice, good base of you guys. And then, you know, you're, you'll be there to watch other games, check out other games with me and everything like that. Something where we can all engage and play together and stuff like that. And eventually I would like to take this full time just because I think that would be a lot of fun just to get into a game Play it full time, and then play with you guys also, you know? <laughs> There's so many Roberts. I'm, I'm speaking to all of the Roberts. Every Robert out there. I should cater to Roberts, that's what I should do. Your name is Robert. Come by the stream. Alright, I think I can get out of here. I have a game console. Uh, I have tried a couple of them, Steven, but I think it's the method of how I'm trying to get a hold of them. They don't respond. So, it's, uh... It's a little... difficult. But yeah, I've been talking to, like, Marcus, GG's, um... Who else? I tried messaging Fixate, but apparently Fixate is a little picky. So I didn't even get a response from him. Uh, I'm trying to think who else I messaged. Well, actually, it's kind of <laughs> One thing's kind of funny. <clears throat> I messaged Insane Gamer. When I first messaged him, I think I was at, like... 2,000 subs, and I think he was at like 4,000. And, uh, now we're like less than 500 subs apart. I think that's hilarious. But yeah, Insane Gamer was one. Um, 
I don't think I've tried Dota. I don't think I've tried him yet. It's just like, it's hard to get a hold of them because you need, you have to remember, there's probably a lot of people messaging them. So it gets lost. Like my message will get lost. There's an uh, encrypted. Invader, I've done a, done a stream with him. Yeah, he he came through and messaged on one of my uh, videos. He's he didn't know about an Ashika Island run. All right, where can I go? Let's go there. Got a buy station here. You could talk to him, Robert. I I think I tried Westy. I can't remember who all I tried. I tried a couple different people though. solo Ultra one, be advised, an operator in your area are you solo I can help. pick you up if you're solo I'm not solo but if you pick me up I'll switch you guys Attack in the AO. all right thank you oh are you solo I am solo. Okay. Is that, um, do you mind if I bring two more guys? There's three of us. Well, I suppose not. Are they close? They're coming over here to pick me up. But well, they're just, I was just trying to help them loot so that, uh, so I can get them some plates. I didn't need his ghost fest. I have a, uh, I have my own. I shouldn't have picked him up though, because he's not solo. I'm gonna go for this tower. Can you do like uh, running around solo? What's up? You feel like running around solo? UAV is on station. Yeah, I'll just run solo. You can you can join back with you guys. You sure? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> Do you want to pick squads or what? <laughs> it's just four of us. Nah, I uh I, I usually run solo. Yeah. You know, I'm not really I'm not really a fan of laser bolt. I like I've watched, uh, I've watched some of Laser Bolt, and I just, I don't, I'm not really a fan. I was helping him get some plates and stuff, or build them things like this. Who's somebody sniping back here? Woohoo! Your team might be over here sniping at me. Where? Well, they were coming from this direction. That's good. Ow. That was not what I wanted to do. Ooh. Yeah, they're up on that tower. There's a team. Maybe. This guy's were coming from this other direction. I mean, I don't think he's running walls, but I just don't like his style of game. Like, 
it's just not I don't know I just don't don't vibe with it I guess That might be the only area. Oh, oh yeah, they're in a sniper fight out. Separated. Suggest you stick together. I wish I could get higher somehow. Hey guys, was that you guys I was just running around with? A teammate has been assigned to a new and there squad. he goes. Hey Brian, what's up? How are you doing tonight? I really want to take these snipers out. Maybe if I go up to the top of this building, I'll have enough height. What the? What the? What the heck? Ultra One, you've got hostile reinforcements incoming. Jesus. Yeah, I agree, Bobby. See, I more like taking out the, uh... The players that are doing, um... Oh, I don't have a self-revive. I like taking out the players that are doing PvP. Just to, uh, to get them out of the map. These guys are probably looking this way now. Ultra One, be advised. Winds are picking up. Move to an extraction point. I don't know the sniper. Hey! Yeah, I don't know the sniper, which is not good. That guy's gonna get rezzed. On Warzone, sure, Bevo. What the heck? I know, Cat. I, uh, I know about the site. guy on my level back there. No! Run! How the heck did I get out of that? I 
my game is like skipping. I'm getting packet burst right now. This is what I'm talking about. You can't fight a team that is stacked like this. You have to take it from range. I'm experiencing packet burst. Ultra one actual. High winds are pushing in radiation. Start moving to an extract point. That would have been a good time to get him. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. What the heck? I can't go that way. Uh-oh. I'm gonna need to get out of here. These guys are gonna need to get out of here too. I think it's time for me to just bail. It is time to go. I am not going to go to final. I'm going to do something risque. Very risque. So who you, who were you saying you could talk to, uh, Robert? I think I might have missed your response because I think I asked. Yeah, I'm going. I'm going to Koshai. <clears throat> I wonder if those guys that I were mess was messing with was the team that uh, picked up their buddy. Like, have you talked to them before? Like, do you have communication with them? Why won't this thing turn? 
Turn, dang you. Go up the hill. Oh my god. I hate this truck. I really hate this truck. I really hate this truck, man. <laughs> Happened to the bridge. I'm actually surprised I made it across. Oh, sweet. Well, yeah, if you can, uh, if you can, you know, put in a good word, that'd be great. There's like a way for me to communicate with them because, yeah, I've, I don't know who all I tried to contact before, but I know, like, I sent emails out, and emails just, I know it's getting lost. That bot just came out of there. I will say, been getting a lot of good, uh, good PvP tips tonight. PvP clips for tips. There we go. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> what we should do is we should just do a raid. We should do a raid one day on on somebody. Yes, they do, Brian. There is there is a glitch that allows you to drive underwater with the uh, cargo Ultra trucks. One, we're getting comms interference. Advise you look for markings to navigate through the area. I missed. I don't think I have tried O N I C. Onic, Onic is it? O N one C Onic? I don't know. I always wonder how his name is supposed to be said because he's got that one in there. Is it Onik? I think I've tried him. Like I said, I don't know, I sent out a whole bunch of uh, messages. Hey, I need that. Okay, so it's pronounced Onik. Son of a... 
Oh, that sucks. See, the thing is, at the end of my stream, I don't really know anybody that's actually streaming. Need mid -call rounds. Hey, L2 key. Like, the thing is, like, Marcus has played with guys that are smaller than me, so I don't understand why he wouldn't, unless it's just like he doesn't like my style of game, which, I mean, is perfectly fine. It's just like I don't like, uh, Laser Bolt. Like, there's some people that just aren't liked. Usually I slide around there. Instead I dolphin dive this time. Need mid rounds. Hear you over there. I think I've seen some of Lucci's stuff. Like, I try to watch other streamers just to see, like, where my content is at compared to them. That way I can make better content that people want to see. I need jumper cables, and I'm gonna guess they're gonna be down here. There they are. Hostile active. Ultra One, you've got hostile reinforcements incoming. Not good. Oh boy. Not really my favorite, Bobby. See, I would like to do more content like that, where I'm doing, like, story stuff. I think that would be fun. And it's something that would last a little longer, you know? Don't think anybody's coming. I think I'm good to go out. for that. I'll just go over to this one. Yeah, and what sucks with uh, having only done DMZ is that if I don't find something that resonates with you guys, then, you know, like I said, the core group of you, yeah, will stop by to see the videos, but then the numbers won't be there for other like videos like if I were to do another game right now it would not get the numbers nearly what DMZ videos get and then 
um, YouTube would be like, well, nobody likes your videos, so we're not going to push them out to people. And it could be great videos, but... Yeah. YouTube is very finicky. Well, myself and then uh, Insane Gamer. Insane Gamer is another one that does it. Alright, we should do... We should do another raffle here. Let me get the last code pulled up really quick. All right, one more raffle. I mean, it's not... I guess it's not really negative. I'm not really a negative person. It's, uh... I don't know, what, what is the word I'm thinking of here? Let me leave match. I guess just something I've been thinking about. Like, trying to figure out what I'm going to do in with DMZ. Because I'm still going to do DMZ. But what else am I going to do with it that is going to be um, good, I guess. Okay, let's see here. Let's delete that. Alright, here is the last giveaway for the last... MW3 beta code. Realistic is a good word, Steven. <laughs> that's awesome, Robert. And see, that's that's what I want to build. That is exactly what I want to build. And I'm almost I'm almost afraid to get bigger. Because you see the bigger streamers. And chat is going so fast that you can't see people's messages. You can't respond. Even now, like, I'm missing messages. And I'm not as big as these other guys. And it is it is upsetting because, like, I'm trying to play, trying to look at chat, and I'm missing messages. And I don't want to, like, I don't want you guys to think that I'm, like, purposely, like, ignoring you. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's the other thing too. I watch some of the streamers and I see like who was it? Who was it that uh, I was watching somebody and they were doing PVP and somebody was like, "Oh yeah, I watch I watch you or whatever." And they he was like saying, "Oh yeah." Like he was basically playing it off like it wasn't him and he's like, "Oh, is he like the best player ever?" and everything. I'm like, I don't want to be like that because I know I'm not the best player. Like, even if I was at their level, I still would be like, no, like, be humble. You know what I mean? Like, even if you're a, the best player ever, just, I don't know, like, some of those players, man. And those are the ones where I'm like, I don't really want to collab with you because that's not me, you know? Exactly, Steven. Exactly. And it's always nice to have those uh those guys like Greasy Cup who uh who just wait around for the raffle to finish and then go it's rigged. <laughs>
<laughs> it's always nice to have the lurkers. I just want you guys to know I appreciate you guys. I appreciate the lurkers, even if you're not chatting, I appreciate it that you're here checking out the stream. Yeah, cat, some of them yes, but uh the one that I was watching that I was mentioning, he he didn't care. He's just he's going around doing PvP and that's all he does. And he's got that ego. Welcome to the DMZ. This is a spawn where somebody spawns right on the other side of that bridge. I don't want to be here. What class am I using? I'm using the ISO 45 and the MCPR. Cross is one, but it was somebody else. Cross is one that uh, was like that, though. Yep. There they are. Yeah, that guy was already pushing spawn over there shooting. Yeah, but I don't think it was Cross that I was watching at that point. But like I said, I watch a lot of the different uh, DMZ streams and stuff like that just to see what people are watching. Yeah, those guys are right there. Ultra One, we're seeing increased activity in the area. Stay sharp. Those guys were looking to uh, spawn kill me. Now you see. Get out of spawn quick, especially on a Sheikah. Don't stay in spawn. Ultra one, enemy threat somebody's exfilling. <laughs> yeah, somebody's exfilling. That's good. One last team. Man, I don't know my bullet drop. Alright, what am I doing right now? I don't even know what I'm doing here. Oh, I was supposed to bring keys in. Was that back when the, uh, the sniper where you could spawn in and snipe people at spawn? Season 1? Something like that? <laughs> Alright, so that team left. Let's see if anybody's around us. Copy that. UAV is on station. We have team there. Team at farm. These guys are moving towards me. That these guys are hunting. Ultra One, activity is increasing near your location. Stay alert. Can't see where the others are. I think that was the second one to move across. And then we have that. Ultra One, completing contracts earns you cash to use at buy stations for gear and upgrades. I 
I don't remember that one, Bevo. Ultra one, enemy threat appears low in your area. Yeah, I don't remember that one. Man, not climb up here. I do remember sniping people that literally they just spawned in and they weren't moving, sniped them. I do remember that, but I don't remember what was said. I have stealth, but I don't want to go into the circle necessarily. I don't want to go to these apartments over here. Oh yeah, make sure you enter into the raffle. Uh, exclamation raffle if you haven't yet. This will probably be my last game for tonight, I'm thinking. Thirty ten thirty. Weapons case. Their last known position is on your attack map. Engage at your discretion. Already beginning. Oh, I didn't bring in a stronghold key card either. He's getting shot up top. Don't have an angle up there though. I could go up that. Come on, bots. Oh, come on. Really? Don't see me, don't see me, don't see me, don't see me, don't see me. Ultra One, the enemy attack helo is moving in your direction.
Requesting close air. Target marked. Copy that. Phoenix 2-3 is on station. Strike inbound. Impact, no joy. One went over here, though. They are going to come this way as soon as they get up. Go ahead, shoot your rocket. Fuck. Ultra one, be advised. Threat level is high. One of them must have pushed. Me up. Okay, or don't. Man, I really hate mantling sometimes. Ultra One, you've got hostile reinforcements incoming. I'm looking for him because they're going to go up there. Yep, here he goes. He's going up there right now. Come. These guys are aggressive. I could definitely lure them into a trap. I need plates, so no plates. One, that was a high priority target. There was a bounty contract out for him. You just secured it. I desperately need plates now. Oh no. Really need plates. Ultra one, be advised. Enemy threat is high in the air. Oh no. You know, it's just, it's funny, because people play very, very predictably. And when you don't play predictably, they don't know how to, uh, how to deal with you. Like, a predictable player is just gonna sit in one spot and snipe, and not move. So, what you want to do is don't play predictably. Especially when you're dealing with an outnumbered Ultra team one, situation. If you can't area, get an opening, open. you need to keep moving. Because you saw, those guys just keep pushing. And all I'm able to do is break them. If I could have gotten a down or two, or if I knew that, you know, they didn't have plates, um, but they have a buy station right there, so I would have definitely died if I stayed there. Right now, I'm going to die if I don't find plates. Because they are going to be on the lookout for me. Um... Didn't see anything. I need to just go in and just snipe in that game mode I was playing. Just so I can get used to sniping again. Because I'm missing way too many shots. Um. 
Yep. No plates equals dead. I have one extra plate. Still not a great position to be in. Bomb drone. Bomb drone! Bomb drone! <laughs> oh my god. All right, Steven. You sure? I can hold it for uh, for the night. Man, that bomb drone almost got me though. <laughs> oh, that was crazy. All right, let's take a look and see here. Oh, see, this is what I'm saying. They're all there looking for me, man. Target area one actual. High winds are increasing in the AO. Move to an extract point before radiation spreads. UAV is being shot missed. I think I'll have time to go there. Yeah, this team is playing super aggressive. I wish I had, like, a cluster mine. I could have lured them into a cluster mine and taken at least one or two of them out. But yeah, I think I'm gonna just go up north here, hit that x fell, and get out of here. The only thing that might be an issue is if they, like, realize what I'm doing and come up to camp this exfil. <laughs> only a little bit, Robert. Only a little bit. Ultra One enemy threat appears low in this area. I can't remember, Bevo. Might as well capture this really quick, right? Dino 
Dino 4. We're standing by. This is Dino 4. All ultra secure. We're exiting the AO. Ultra 1, be advised. Radiation is pushing into the area. Recommend you move to an extract point. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a fun run. I'm pretty sure I saw their vehicle down there too, driving around. Alright, so this raffle, let's see here. Are you guys ready? The last winner of the night is going to be... Watch, it's going to be Steven. Five bucks says Steven. Clyde! <laughs> Clyde, you are going to be the winner of... The code. Let me see here. I can actually send him the message here. Clyde, Clyde, Clyde. Where the heck? There he is. Clyde's not even here. That's okay, I have him on Discord. Okay. Alright guys, I am going to get out of here. Um, like I said, next week is going to be a little different with uh, MW3. And Clyde, I just sent you a message on Discord about it. But uh, yeah, next week is going to be a little different different stream ride stream wise with mw3 i'm going to post up the schedule tomorrow i'm gonna try and figure it out and then let you guys know it's going to there's definitely going to be one day of just mw3 and my thoughts on it so if you're interested in that definitely check the schedule have a great night everyone Thanks for stopping out, and you guys are an awesome community. I really, really enjoy having this community that we have here, and I hope that we can continue to grow and uh, have fun like we are. All right, have a great night. See you guys next stream.